Hey there. Can you guess who I drew? This dashing young man in the painting is only 30 years old and he's already the first consul of the French Republic. In a true hero style, he became a king just four years later. But why is his modest donkey depicted as a majestic horse? And his military coat transformed into an elegant red cape? And what's the meaning of the inscriptions on the rocks in the front? Let's unravel the stories behind this famous painting. In the midst of the vast Alps, he's pointing towards towering peaks, brimming with dreams and confidence, his gaze fixed firmly on the distant horizon. Behind him are soldiers, moving cannons up the mountain path. It's 1800, and Napoleon is leading his troops across the Alps to northern Italy, to relieve the French army trapped by Austrian forces. His victory at the Battle of Marengo boosted his prestige and opened the path to power. After this Italian campaign, the painting was commissioned by King Charles IV of Spain. But why would a Spanish king commission a portrait of a French emperor? We'll get into that later. David set the scene at the snowy St. Bernard Pass, with a dark sky and dangerous terrain amplifying the heroism. The red cape makes the painting vibrant. The inscriptions on the rocks at the front mention pioneers who crossed the Alps before Napoleon. The horse's saddle is inscribed with the artist's name and date. However, Napoleon intervened in the painting's creation, demanding changes to historical details. In reality, he crossed the mountains on a mule, which is better suited for snowy conditions than a horse, and he wore a standard military coat, not a red cape. He wanted to be portrayed calmly on a powerful horse. The accuracy of the portrait was secondary, what mattered was to showcase a genius on paper. This wasn't the only painting of its kind, David created five similar works. The original is kept at the Château de Malmaison, with other versions at the Palace of Versailles, Charlottenburg Palace in Berlin, and the Belvedere in Vienna. So why did the King of Spain order a portrait of Napoleon? I'll tell you the secret in the next issue.